Welcome back guys to my series of Project Zomboid where I try to survive as a YouTuber. Last time we did pretty good getting a generator and some tools, but today's episode might not go as well. Stick around and find out. Last time that we left off, we found duct tape, metal bars, saw, all that good stuff. So we can actually start barricading up doors, I believe, and like disassembling this round table. And then that should give us wood, right? I have a saw in here. Ooh, chance 17 seems pretty bad. Is there any way I can improve my carpentry skills? I think someone said in the comments, which by the way, the comments were super helpful. I appreciate it. Someone left like a essay. Jade Annabelle Art. Thank you for the information. First of all, we should not have our generator indoors apparently. I guess it'll produce fumes that will kill me. So that's pretty bad. There we go. Eat an entire onion for lunch. I feel like our food and water situation is not super handled. So if we could find like a grocery store or something, that'd be pretty sweet. We got some zombies on the main road there. Let's we'll go past that. I'm just walking the park around my house. There's nothing good here. Okay, we found some train tracks though. I seriously doubt that a train actually runs on these or else I'm gonna get fucking killed. The problem is that if we get tired, I don't know where we're sleeping. I have to walk all the way back home. A lot of zombies still on me, unfortunately. Oh, that's me. Let's go inside this house. All right, let's drink some water while we're here. We're really thirsty, but basically we're here to rob these guys. What's in the fridge? We'll take it all, loot the rest of it. I need a bag. I'm realizing that now. And when I loot all this stuff, I have nothing to put it in and it's making me very uh, tired holding it. Briefcase, what did I just say? Holy, and a fanny pack. Angler USA Magazine, we need that. Fishing, oh my God, they have all the magazines we need. A crowbar and a hammer? I'm being greedy. This is exactly how I almost died last time with the generator. Based on the uh, the icon here, I'm pretty sure I'm taking damage from being over encumbered. So I think we'll take our briefcase and go home before anyone sees us. I might have to come back over here. There's a pink house on the map. I don't know what that means, but there's a pink house. Oh, there's like 10 zombies that see me now. Oh, look, our, our bucket is full of water now. Okay, let's put the briefcase down. Okay, I'm still over encumbered, but they're breaking down my door right now. Oh my God, they broke my window. Oh no, this is so bad. No. No. I got greedy. This house exists though, so if we can come back, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zombies in here. One of them has a shotgun. Oh my god, they broke the door. Oh. Okay, obviously we did not end on the note that I wanted to. So we're hopping right back into Muldraw, Kentucky. Find the old base, get our stuff back, and call it a day. No fucking way. This is the house that I just robbed. Well, luckily I didn't take any weapons, I don't think. I know I took some tools and stuff, but we might be able to still find something to protect ourselves. Bread knife, very bad damage, but it's something. We're gonna put on this stuff here. We're, we're back already. Now the goal is to get back to the base unseen hopefully there will be like 40 zombies there though and they broke my door so we'll have to move back into our original place where we spawned bro you saw me how you're joking oh my god oh my god tell me how this is fair at all tell me how this is fair at all bro you're fucking with me dude what am i supposed to do i can't even get back there oh my god this game is brutal <sighs> We should be relatively close. Excuse me? Where are we right now? We're here. Next to the... Are we? Oh, we're all the way over there now. Holy. Well, you know, we don't have to go back right away. We can start over. No shoes still, huh? And unfortunately, no weapon either. I'm gonna try going down to try to skirt past these zombies. What the fuck's happening down there? Why is that guy laying down? Oh, I forgot that zombies like love the woods for some reason. Even though there's nobody here. I mean, I guess I say nobody's here and I'm literally here. I feel like that's me right there. Do we, do we not look the same, me and that dead body? What am I bleeding from? My right foot got scratched somehow? Oh, just from like walking, cause I don't have shoes on, I guess. Oh my God, there's so many zombies on me. I need to bandage my foot. I know where we need to go. The ship of safety in the night. I know that this building is safe, at least for the night. Whew. Okay. Besides us fucking up our feet, we're doing okay right now. I don't think there's any weapons in here, unfortunately. Let's see if we can't bother the neighbors, maybe. I know there was a zombie in here last time, but yeah, see, there's one right here, but maybe they have a weapon on them. 
Okay, well they have socks and sneakers at least. Oh wow, this place is kind of lit. Look at that. Mechanics volume one, sure. Okay. Oh, you're fucking with me, bro. You're actually fucking with me. Come on, there's two? We have to disinfect. I do not have, um, I don't have shit. Striped t-shirt, rip up. <sighs> I should have fucking known. Of course they were in the bathroom. Why wouldn't they be? I really need a weapon. I'll read this book and then we'll sleep when we get tired and we'll hit the house tomorrow. That's the next morning or I don't know, next whenever. It looks pretty dark outside. This rich person's house was really good last time. I know I've already looted the majority of it, but... Okay, yeah, I was about to say, it sounds like someone's trying to break in. So they saw me come in here, huh? Oh my God, they're already in? Well, the time is now. Let me see if this house is open maybe. Saucepan. It's something. All right, yeah, get them. Lure them away like one at a time if possible. Yeah, that's not one at a time, but we'll have to see how it goes. That's four at a time. Yeah, okay, get them while they're down. Bro, none of these are me though, I don't think. We're gonna get this guy because he's over here by himself, and then we'll enter the building. Okay. All right, we are so back. Now the, the fucked up thing is there's no door and the zombie that was me seems to have disappeared. I think we kind of lost out on that, unfortunately. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our generator. I mean, if you look at the map, technically I've always lived in this house and we have the key for this car. So really, it was like meant to be that I would live here anyways, you know? Are you sure about that? I mean, like I had good stuff in here. Grab the briefcase, remove the curtains. I just have to be careful to not be too greedy once again. Let's add a sheet here. Okay, briefcase, let's start with that. Let's put that down. Same deal, we're gonna store stuff over here by the bed. Approximately 10 hours later. All our windows are boarded up now. And I think we're kind of back to square one where we're looking for tools and we're just trying to explore overall. I mean, I'm pretty proud of us. I think that's a good save. There's a lot of these books that we should probably read, honestly. Maybe we'll spend this first day reading. How about that? Metalwork is nice. First aid is probably nice. Teaches recipe basic mechanics, unread. Instruct a manual containing diagrams, common maintenance, tasks for popular budget. Someone, family car models. <gasps> so we could potentially get gas for our car and be able to drive that around in the future if we read this. Oh, we don't have our Chevy Dart key anymore because it was on my other body. This is a major chip alert. He's just looking at me. He doesn't want to look at the camera. Look at him. This is my cat, Chip. He's got curly little ears, and there's merchandise of him in the store if you want some. Chip is still in my lap, but you can't see him because of where the camera's at. Let's see, it's 11 o'clock. Did we ever go up here? What is this purple house? Okay, now we're double fisting. Our briefcase and our metal pipe. What the f- Oh, wait. There I am. And all the zombies that fucked with me, including the one that has a shotgun on her back. I have to unequip the briefcase because this is serious. All right, I want to track them one by one if possible. Yes, it's me. My jacket and stuff is fucked up. There's no point in me taking it back. This this feels really fucked up to be uh, killing myself. I don't know about that. My broccoli, my Chevalier Darky, my pistol, my purple socks. I mean, that's really good. We just got back all of our stuff. The Chevalier Dart key was super important. This is the Chevalier Dart over here. Although the lock on it is broken, so I don't know if the, having the key really matters. Let's go to sleep. Should count our blessings. What happened to my hat, by the way? So basically, we're looking for... Oh, fuck. I mean, if I'm being honest, I need that lady shotgun. That's crazy. But it looks like we're gonna have to get attacked first. Whoa, gold necklace drip. I'm sad. Find a way to raise my mood. How about wearing this drip? Does that improve your mood? Whatever, dude. It's the, it's the fucking apocalypse. Of course, you're sad. Oh my god. They're walking me down the street, bro. This is crazy. This is like 10 minutes. Oh my god, bro. We're just sweaty and a little sad. That's okay. I can't believe we made it out of there, honestly. I thought for sure I was throwing. I'm in minor pain, bro. Chill out. Like, deal with it. Did everybody but the girl with the shotgun attack me? Like, where'd she go? I think I'm scared of one zombie. Oops. There she is. She really didn't attack me. Out of everyone else. Oh my god, she had a pistol on her too? I need to increase my, my amount of stuff I can hold. I feel like I'm constantly overweight. Like, how am I overweight right now? I mean, but you can't deny this. I look like a professional right now. Wait, we actually have two pistols now. That's crazy. I think that this is gonna be the fit for now. Nightstick, briefcase, pistol on the hip. Newspaper, this is what I needed. I'm hoping to make our person less sad. How the fuck do I get not sad, bro? 
Let's just go to sleep. Okay, it's the next day. We're still depressed for some reason. What the fuck, bro? You just immediately come over to me. And this guy wants some too, huh? You dumb bitch. Okay, no wonder police resort to violence. This stick sucks. What What is happening? Why do they all know where I live all of a sudden? I don't even have like a TV in there. Get off me, get off me, get off me. No, no way, no way, no way, no way. No way, dude. Are you joking? Where did they all come from, dude? Time to go again. Okay, immediately. Fuck off. This is a two-story house we're starting off in? Where am I? Holy. We start off in a two-story house? Hang on a second. Wait, there's a run speed modifier? Wait, you can run faster if you're in a dress? Oh, no, you can run slower if you're in a dress. This place is huge. Double sink? A gamer room? Dude. Hang on, this house is sick. We may have found a new base. This place is massive. Another bathroom down here. A washing machine? And there's like no windows anywhere. A radio. We can listen to the emergency broadcast system. All we need to do is go back to our house, which is over there. And then make the walk all the way down the street, which I keep on doing and then keep on failing at. So it's a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. Or a lot harder than I'm making it out to be, I should say. Oh my god, look at them up there. We can just vault this fence and it'll slow them down by quite a bit, right? I guess we don't know what's on the other side of the fence, though. Yeah, I don't think that zombie can jump that fence. Oh, this pink building's a medical building? We can live in a two-story building down the street from the medical facility? This window's open. I don't see anyone in there. Oh! Who just sits in their own pantry when the zombie apocalypse starts? Oh, no. Three zombies? Oh, look at all the zombies over there. How did she see me? Oh, wait, no fucking way. That's me, isn't it? That's that's dead ass. Got to be me. That one has a backpack. We have to we have to take him. Fall over, bro. Fall over. Oh my god. Now the other one's caught up. Oh, that's so good. Excuse me, it is me, but what happened to my my pistol that was on my my waist? That's what we've been needing, dude. A large backpack is such a big win for us. I'm tired of getting over encumbered and getting killed as a result. But annoyingly, like all my stuff is gone. My pistol. Oh wait, there's another zombie of me over there. What? You're actually joking, bro. That's crazy. Okay, quickly, bandage it up. Look at how many there are. What are the chances I can sneak into the home? Oh, zero. There's people sitting outside of it. We could do this, we could do We could do two, that's fine. Okay. I've got them stun locked right now. Oh, baby. Get them while they're down. So with them defeated, I think it's possible that we could sneak into the house. Absolutely not, apparently. Okay, a little bit of fog is actually probably to our advantage. Oh, we're inside. And I think we're gonna sit here and read these books actually until we can take a nap. Just so I can be fully rested when I go back. But I think I wanna make that other place my, um, well, I think I wanna make that other place my base because it's two stories. So if they do happen to get in, we have more room to run away. Let's go to sleep. What, why, why is this thing freaking out on me? Laceration, let's disinfect it just in case. Queasy, nervous wreck. What, what the heck happened to me, bro? Why is this still flashing at me? Am I doing something wrong? Let's keep on reading our book and we'll keep an eye on that. We read both the Lane's books. Cooking, how about we read this book? I feel like I have a fever or something. I feel like I'm dying. My character's hot and panicked and queasy. Is this infected? Laceration, disinfect it. And bandage it up again. Remove the bandage. Disinfect it. Why do I have to disinfect it like every time? I'm losing my mind in real life, not just in the game. What is this sickness that has befallen me? Look at that. After five minutes, my the heart thing over there is shaking again. Let's rest. My bone is broken? Can I relax like in a chair? Like, why is my character so upset, dude? We got, we got infected. We had to have gotten infected. I think that we might just want to die, honestly. You know, you put the briefcase in here. Boots, nightstick. Follow me far away from here, zombies. Far, far away. Kill me. Once again, defeated by the game. I think there's a lot of potential. We have a generator, we have a backpack. I really think we could get a good base going on. And I think we have a new safe house next episode, but obviously I need some help. Tell me what I'm doing wrong in the comments. Give me some tips. 
give me some ideas. Maybe is there a place I should go? Is there somewhere that would help me? Or am I just bad at the game? Be honest with me. Safe house in the next episode, hopefully. And I hope you have a great day.